<laughs> very, very You think neat. it's sci-fi. Alas, here we go. Yeah, uh, I know. We are on the way, certainly. Well, we have a lot to talk about as far as this forecast yeah. goes. Walked outside today, and I was like, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Sunny skies. I left the 60s. window open today. Yeah. We are not. Isn't it nice to get that fresh it air is. going through the house? Right? It's beautiful. It airs everything out. Yeah. Uh, you'll be able to leave the windows open, I think, for, for some of us tomorrow. Mm. Okay. But Wednesday, we have the chance for some storms, which right. could possibly get strong to even severe across northeast Ohio. We're going to break it all down, I promise. We're taking no baby steps here, as Betsy was just mentioning for NASA. <laughs> we're full-fledged. We are going up. Not necessarily tonight. We have some shower chances in our forecast, but mainly lakeside. So temperatures that have been in the 60s today, diving back into the 50s. We increase those shower chances just for our lakeshore communities, really. And why is that happening? Well, we kind of have a boundary that's set on up. Kind of a frontal system that's not moving up, down, any direction you probably want it to. And it's really moving its way eastward, and it's taking itself right right across the lake. So things other than that are pretty calm as for now, but today was actually the warmest day in about 40 days across Northeast Ohio. We have to go all the way back to late February to see when we hit about 67 degrees, which is our unofficial high right now at Cleveland Hopkins. But we do keep with the warm trend tomorrow. We actually stay in the 60s, but it's not for everyone. That boundary that I was just talking about is going to sag a little bit further south. So that sets up a cooler scenario for our lakeshore counties, and they could just hold in the 40s. Rather cloudy for the day tomorrow. By the middle of the week, though, above normal. We are close to 80 degrees. Some of our southern communities could be in the 80s by Wednesday, and we have the chance for not only showers, we have the chance for thunderstorms, kind of like what we did Saturday, and then kind of what we did the weekend prior all over again. We have a very potent system that's just trying to develop and it's going to make its way to us. And then by Thursday, we have 60s and falling much cooler overall as our high temperature for the day is likely to be in the 50s through the afternoon. So where's the warmth coming from? Because we have to transport it somehow some way. It's all the way down through the Lone Star State right now. In fact, they have 80s and 90s at the moment. You can see where that boundary continues to be draped, and our system itself is just near the Four Corners region. That is going to make its way closer to us in the days to come, but not only poses a concern for us across Northeast Ohio and the whole Buckeye State, it poses another huge concern for a majority of the Central Plains states, too. All the way from the Midwest to parts of the Deep South, they have a severe weather outlook, and it's not like ours. Theirs is more heightened. So this is Tuesday for them. That is tomorrow. By Wednesday, we have a level two out of five. That is a slight risk for severe weather. All threats still on the table. But the thing that's different here with this system as opposed to the previous ones is that our humidity levels are going to be heightened too. So we need a little bit of that fuel, the instability to fuel not only the pop of the thunderstorms and showers to develop across the area, but we need a lifting mechanism and we're going to have that cold front swing on through. So in your National Zimmer hour by our forecast, here's tonight. Here's that boundary keeping the showers really confined to our lakeshore counties by tomorrow morning. Maybe a few peaks of sunshine, but rather cloudy across the area with that boundary set on up here. We have a difference in a spread in temperatures 60s further inland 40s right along the coast, though, as we go through time, as we spin the uh, actual times change to about uh, six in the morning on Wednesday, temperatures still about 60 degrees or so. And as we go about the afternoon, temperatures close to 80 degrees for some of us across the area. An initial line comes through through the afternoon, and then we get another that happens through the evening associated with the actual cold front. In your Union Home Mortgage Extended Forecast, once again, warm by the middle of the week. But we have an absolutely gorgeous weekend setting up, not only Friday for the Guardians Home Opener, but for Easter weekend as a whole. We have much more coming up right after the break.